try here for the Bulldogs against the Northern Mission Wildcats and an extra point in the WCHA standings. Could you just talk about the play of the Bulldogs here tonight? Yeah, I thought it was very inspired and, and much improved. Um, you know, to look back, to reflect and contrast compared to two nights, um, where last night I felt we had a very strong first period and a strong second period till about seven minutes to go in that period when they scored. And I thought from that point on, we, we didn't play very inspired and, and, you know, whatever the reason, maybe a team out there hoping to win rather than going out and securing it. Tonight I felt like we were on top of our game pretty much all night. I thought they were too. And, and uh, apropos that it ended up in a shootout, because um, I thought both teams were dug in and, and uh, there was really very little of, uh, sometimes the second nights get a little less frantic and a little, little bit, I don't know, less puck pursuit because the guys are tired. That was not the case tonight. I thought the game stayed up tempo the entire way. Um, but I give our guys high marks. I thought we battled when they scored a tie at 2-2 instead of caving or, or wishing that we would win. The guys came out, they kept battling. Um, I thought they did a tremendous job on the um, overtime, the second overtime when we were down four and three, five on three, four and three. Um, obviously Darren uh, was strong, but I think he would tell you the guys in front of him did a heck of a job uh, in that sequence. Um, and so, yeah, I think we were full marks then for the extra point. During the second three-on-three uh, -three overtime period, during those power plays and penalties, were you guys preparing for that and the way they were going to set up having a four and five men on the ice during a regular three-on-three? -three? Well, the four-on-three is actually, it's not that difficult to, to I mean, what, what we're going to do is, is pretty standard. You know, there's not a lot of ways you can go ahead and kill it. I think, you know, one of the confusing things is when, you know, all of a sudden when it's four and three, then our guy comes out of the box, he goes to four and four until the next whistle, then it goes to three on three. And, you know, it just trying to keep track of how many guys you had to get ready to hop and who needed to hop, you know, it's just interesting. Um, that second one, um, the second call, you know, I was like, it was like kind of the cherry on top. It's like, oh, really? And, and, and um, it was, luckily, it was, I think, only 30 seconds long of a five on three. And then we went five on four, which actually would have favored us if it would have stayed, if we hadn't gotten the whistle and Mac and shot it down here, which I'm glad he did, he, maybe he'd score. But then all of a sudden when that whistle came, then the, the numbers reduced down to four and three again. And, and I, we would have rather seen that somehow work its way through the, the rest of the power play five on four. Like game one against Northern, the shots by period, they declined as the game went on. And tonight after the first period, they jumped up and stayed consistent and there was uh, looking like that was meeting the high energy. Was there any change from last night outside of just overall effort that you saw that you could point a finger towards what caused that? Yeah, you know, it, 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 I guess it boils down to effort. I, I felt like yesterday, I, I, I know the team really well. They're, they're exceedingly hard workers, and the effort's going to be there. I thought last night really kind of showed a team uh, with a little bit of lack of confidence. and. When we had the lead, we were just kind of hoping the game would end, and we, you know, instead of just continuing to be forceful, you know, we get an almost a wishful thinking. Oh, I hope it goes our way, and and it, it kind of has the appearance of lack of effort, but that's not the case. But I think tonight uh, it was a more determined and, and okay, we're we're going to have a little bit. I, I thought the response when they scored their second goal with about seven, eight minutes, whatever the case may be. And uh, they scored that goal to tie it, uh, immediate pushback by us. You know, we went back down to their end. We kept churning. We kept trying to create offense. We didn't just sit back and, and hope for the tie, for instance. We, we kept uh, our, our foot on the gas. And so that's, that's a sign of some maturity as a team going forward. You know, we looked like a team yesterday that hadn't won a game yet. Um, and that was just hoping that we, we would end up winning and not, not making it happen. Taylor, not only your first goal of the season, but your first goal as a Bulldog. Could you just tell us how great that feeling was and walk us through that goal? Yeah, it's uh, certainly an awesome feeling. Um, I believe the play, the play started in our end. Um, I think it got wrapped around the boards. Um, I made a breakout pass to um, Jason Tackett. We, I think we had a three on two. He, he bumped to the outside to Chris Allen, who 
shot at far pad and both of us, uh, me and Tack were driving the net, came right to me on my backhand and just happened to go in, so. Both assists on your goals also came from freshmen. Can you just talk about the perspective of the freshman core here on the Bulldogs is very large this year? Yeah, we got, I think we've got eight freshmen this year. Um, I think we're all just, just trying to just work our butts off. Um, you know, Ferris has got a great history here. Last year they went really far, so we just we feel like we have to uh, up our worth ethic, worth work ethic um, to keep up with the rest of the guys, upperclassmen. So I think we've all we've all made that a uh, a point to do to work extremely hard. Darren, quite an interesting night tonight. Double overtime and and a sudden death shootout. Could you please tell us what was going through your mind through each one of those periods of overtime and into that shutout? Uh, it was definitely an extra long game. Guys were working hard all night. Had a couple penalties during the overtime and definitely made it difficult to stay on top of it. But guys dug deep and uh, really shut it down there. And we just kept working at it and we knew eventually we'd get the win and happened to go to a shootout and Craig put the puck in the net and the guy happened to mess up on it and just threw it at my chest. So it's a good feeling. You heard what your coach had to say about the difference between last night and tonight for you. But what do you think personally was the difference maker for tonight? Uh, last night I felt like it wasn't my best effort. Uh, I wasn't seeing the puck well. Uh, I felt I was sloppy. I just kept on uh, just getting out of position. It wasn't my best game as a fair state hockey player. But tonight uh, I really focused on trying to stay in control and really was watching the puck all the way in and trying to control my rebounds. And tonight, like the like Coach said, the guys did a great job of uh, keeping the puck to the outside, so made my job easier and uh, made it an overall good game for us.